What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Long Island Fish Guy here. Back at it again with another video. And today we got a big time update. Big time. As you can see in the tank, we are missing fish again. But this time, oh yeah, it's on purpose. We got rid of the Daniels. But what did we replace them with? That's right. This guy. This is a Hoplo catfish. So interesting and cool. And he is actually a obviously a catfish. And he sometimes actually um he sometimes uh schools with my quarry catfish that I have in the tank. Um he's not necessarily like a brother or sister, but more like a cousin to them. Anyway, uh, the story behind him is my local fish store. Actually, I was in, looking for a different type of catfish to add to this tank because I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of the quarries as well because they might be getting too uh, small for the tank because the Oscar is growing at a crazy rate. Um, so I'm hoping that those quarries don't become fish food for him soon because that would be bad for the quarries and for the Oscar. Uh, back to the Hoplo, though. My local fish store had a couple of these guys in the store, and I just was fascinated with them. I didn't even know what these were. I didn't know what a Hoplo catfish was. These, granted, he might be camera shy. He goes crazy in this tank. He goes absolutely nuts. Um, and he scares the crap out of my uh, cichlids. This is the Oscars tank, and uh, this Hoplo catfish scares the crap out of him. Might be seeing some interaction right now. See the Oscar just. Wow, <laughs> this is there's been a lot of that in this tank. Um, the, the spot that the Hoplo's in right now is actually the Oscar spot, and in comes the Oscar. Um, it's funny you never think that an, uh, a Hoplo catfish would be the type of fish to almost take over the tank. Um, and like exactly what I said, the quarry catfish come over to the hoplo as like a big daddy. And it's definitely trying to take over the tank. It's community fish. It's not aggressive whatsoever. Um, it's cool because it also goes under the name um, armored catfish or armored fish. It's got the same type of uh, skin as a pleco would have. Um, so it's completely safe inside here. And I, this pleco I have in here, it's a royal pleco. He is finding new hiding spots every day as my Jaguar wants to be in front center. Try and see the Royal Pleco in there. <laughs> it's kinda, this was the Jaguar spot and the Jaguar cannot get in there now because the Royal Pleco has completely taken over the filter. So it'll be funny to see the interaction between the Jaguar and the Royal Pleco. Because the Royal Pleco are actually very territorial fish, as the, uh, the Jaguars. And uh, with, you know, that armored body, that big skull that the Plecos have, the Royal Plecos have, they can put up a fight. Uh, I've seen a flower horn and a Royal Pleco actually go at it, the, with the Royal Pleco actually winning, which is kind of incredible to watch. Um, so yeah, that's a small little update. I definitely don't miss those Daniels because they were going to be fish food anyway. Um, I just basically use them to cycle the tank. Um, next update, if uh, in regards to the fish I have in this tank, will probably be the the quarries out of here. I'm 50-50 right now on it, but uh, I definitely don't want to see them eaten because that would be horrific. <laughs> I love quarries and don't want to definitely want to see them killed in my tank, and I also don't want to see my Oscar get killed from the inside out. But uh, more videos to come. I'm going to maybe do a do-it-yourself as to filtration and better ways to get your biomedia uh, cycle started and finished. Um, when this tank was cycling, I did some pretty amazing things to get this thing sped up. Um, so more to come. Also, another thing I want to add in this video is my Oscar has been acting so strange for weeks now. It's de definitely not unhealthy. Granted, his color is not the greatest, but because I have a very light tank. He hangs out by that heater, staring at himself, just like that. 
so often. More often now that the Hoplo has taken over his spot. And then he'll come do exactly this. I mean, everything's on cue. He swims back to the other side, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, stares at himself on that side, and goes back. But, uh, that's about it. For today's update, thanks for watching.